Welcome to HWM Master Martin, and I've got the pleasure of bringing you this beautiful 2008 DB9 Volante. So this car was registered in 2008 on an 08 plate and has done 28 and a half thousand miles with a full Aston Martin service history. This car is in outstanding order um, and you probably wouldn't ordinarily see a dealer getting too involved in an early DB9, but just because of the provenance and also the condition of this vehicle, we have decided to sell this onwards. So this car is finished in tungsten silver. We have a black interior, which will run me through some of the trim options on the inside. And as you probably do or do not know, this is an 08 model year car. So this has the later seats in the vehicle, not the square backs that were originally shown in and launched in DB9 Volante. So this has the later Recaro seat, but it's also still uh, the 450 horsepower engine. So as I say, this car is finished in tungsten, which was back then a blue chip color for uh, Aston. We also have the multi-spoke silver finish wheels on the side of the vehicle here. So we'll show you those, along with the gray brake calipers behind. From the side profile, I still think if you see a DB9 on the road, it's still one of the prettiest cars that's out there. It has sort of aged a little bit over the years, but I think it's aged very well. We have a bright finish front grille and front parking sensors. That was generally really the only options that you could have on this sort of HDB9. Um, and you can probably see that stunning interior from here as well. Moving around to the back of the vehicle, uh, we have the red rear lights. Now, again, back in 2008, you couldn't get the clear rear lights on the back of here, but if you wanted to update the vehicle a little bit, you could put the clear rear light kit in the back of here, which would be both the external lights and also the boot high level rear brake light on the back. Chrome tail pipes, standard feature really of DB9 from this sort of era. But as you can probably see from this vehicle, it is a gorgeous car. If you're just looking for a stepping stone into the brand and you're not really gonna be a high mileage user and just want something, a bit of fun to sort of use for maybe a high days and holidays, this would be an ideal vehicle for you. What we'll do is we'll give you a bit of a spin around and then we'll then take you through on some of the interior options. Cool, so as I say, the inside of this vehicle is in as good a condition as the outside. A couple of things that are sort of worth knowing, um, you, you would tend to find some bolster wear on some of these seats. There is a little bit on this one here, but we will get that sorted prior to sale. And also what you tend to find, we have the walnut veneer dash. Um, they do tend to fade in the sunlight, but this car has had a pretty cosseted life. So the walnut dash is untouched on this car. Again, if you wanted to, you could change that out. You could put a black piano in there and also modernize the interior of the vehicle. But for myself, I'd probably try and keep it OEM uh, and keep it to the original spec of the vehicle as when it was ordered. So we have an obsidian black leather with a moon shadow stitching on the car. And that matches the moon shadow headlining, which you've got around the A-frame and also the cam rail, but also also on the inside of the roof, which is in a black finish, um, just to give you that lighter interior on the inside of the car. We also have a black carpet there, and somebody has put over mats inside there. So you've got the Aston Martin over mats on top of the mats that are inside the car. So the carpet itself is in lovely order. And then we then have your usual features on a 08 DB9. So this particular car has memory seats, heated seats. We've also got the climate control there with a CD auto changer in the head unit. Again, there are are things you can do to modernize that but again I probably wouldn't go too far into changing too many details and try and keep this car because of the age and the mileage and the history more of a sort of an OEM if you're just looking for something for a Sunday to have a bit of a blast whether that's to go and grab a cup of coffee or if you're thinking you want to have a travel around Europe this would probably be the ideal car for you but again we'll give you a bit of a shoot around on the interior and uh, hopefully if you want any further details we're here at the showroom and we'll be happy to help